just a second. Mm. One of my boys was, uh, he sent me a Snapchat of him on the highway. <coughs> he, him on the freeway, you know. <laughs> And he was recording it and sending it to me, you know, phone in hand on the highway. I'm like, are you kidding me, bro? Probably shouldn't be calling him out, but oh well. Oh, never mind. He replied like that was near my house, not a highway. Anyways, you might be wondering why there are chests here. Because I just got done using my amiibos. Well, not all of them. I ran out of time. I even double-checked. I, uh, I ended last time 5.15pm in-game. And now you can see the time. So make of that what you will. Let me just double check the audio before we start. Hmm, not hearing anything at all. That's a little concerning. Never mind, I hear it now. Adjust my headset and let's get going. Anyways, you can see some numbers are different here because, once again, using amiibos, getting the items from them. So, what's everyone up to? Today's January 4th, 10 16 p.m. for me. Uh. There's still, there's still a loading swirl on my screen, but the chat's showing up. I don't know what's going on there. Ooh, another bug. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the jump button. Damn it. That was a big, f that was a fail right there. That was an L. Whoops. Anything over here? Yep, my redemption. Okay, let's get going. Since there's honestly nothing else I can think of to do right now, let's go. Let's go explore more of the map, because uh, we have yet to do that. I'll be honest, I don't want to do either one of these three over here. So let's go over here. Let's actually continue. No, a little higher. There we go. By the way, yo, today, earlier today, I got a shiny Entei. You know, shiny hunting, and there it was, it popped up. I also got a shiny Grovile, but nobody cares. Shiny Entei's where it's at. So, up next, shiny Suicune. After that's Lugia. I might do a shiny hunt for Lugia. I, I'm not doing one for Ho-Oh, because that one is a little more complicated. I have to use my Switch Lite. I have to connect it to my my regular switch, the one you're seeing right now, seeing gameplay off of right now. I have to I, like, I have to go online. I like I want to I wanted to say my own OT and trainer ID and whatever. So I I want to do it online to get it on my unless it doesn't work like that, which I will find out soon enough. Tower should be that way. Yeah, it's right there. Eh, let's keep this armor on. Ooh. Hello. Look. 
So, what's everyone up to? It's nice to finally be able to unlock more of the map. You know, pretty soon we're going to have the entire map filled out. How satisfying that'll be. I hear something, but I can't see it. Nice and quick. Now give me them parts. Finally, mo more red chew jelly. See? You lying. That's our first? Really? That's our first? I guess it is. Mmm. Get rid of some useless shields. I certainly don't need this. Exploring maps was one of my favorite things to do in Zelda games as a kid. Say less. What about exploring this game, huh? This nice giant game right here. Oh boy, you know how many secrets people are still discovering? We discovered a lot. We damn near discovered all of them. But there's still occasionally a few that people find. One, I want to point out when the time comes. Like, it's amazing anyone even discovered this. Intentional or not, by the programmers. It's like such an amazing little coincidence. I wouldn't even say it's a detail, it just happens to look like that. And if the developers put it in, well, good on them. They're probably just waiting on their computer screen, constantly refreshing every day, wondering when someone will find the detail. Oh, I see a Korok. This Zelda game looks way too big for me. Oh, I already did this Korok. He's standing right there. I already did this one. Nah, man, that's the that's the that's the fun of this. Open world. You get to explore anything you want. There are hot springs down there. You know, that was... I, I too loved exploring the map for Zelda games, but one of my biggest issues was the boundaries. Like, we can't explore out of bounds. I would love to see what additional detail looks like. And that's the beauty of an open world Zelda game like this. Oh, there's a guardian over there. For the chance of a giant ancient core, I must. Eh, what's uh? This gives me good defense. Let me see if this works. This should this should be the case. You see how the Master Sword is glowing next to a Guardian? Well, just loves going Berserk, don't it? What you can do is this, but not not this. I'm just doing this just to get it to stay still. Two hits from the Master Sword takes out each leg. Hit it, hit it, hit it. There we go. Breaking the leg gives you parts as well. Which also damaged the, uh, the actual body. The Master Sword glowing mean, means it's it's at its full power. It's double power right now. All its legs are broken, so it can't move. Just go wailing. I said, just go wailing. Nope, no cores. Hmm. Nah, that's... 
Well, that was my Joy-Con drift again. I was about to go do something, but that's stupid. I should get the tower before I do that. Which should be above? Well, not, not should be. It is above. I'm just saying, like, where above? Right there! Really? Well, there you go. You can you see that's that's possible. I knew that was possible. I was just wondering if it was going to happen there. Let's not waste this. Let's get to a higher point before we use our one last Revali's Gale. Has that been triggering anyone this entire time? Seeing it's one and not three? Has anyone been been screaming at me like just use it already and just let it recharge back to three? Has anyone been doing that? Let me know if you have. Right, there should be a path, yeah. There's a whole path of these guys. It's more clear on the way down. God damn, that's made my heart stop. You hear a killed one down there too. There's just so many. I can't I can't help myself. I can't resist. I just have to get them. Then I see one down there. I can't I can't resist. I have to I have to have them. All right, now that we wasted our time, let's actually go and get this tower. So, let me just bring up something. Let me just mention this before someone Well, I'm sure people already have flagged me for it. Not flag, but called me out on it. So I was talking about the Smallville series finale, and I was like, well, the so Clark becomes Superman, he flies up to space, and he faces Apocalypse. Oh, it, it cuts to black. So the 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 final fight takes place off screen. So I did rewatch the clip, and it turns out he, the fight didn't happen off screen. The fight never even happened. So what? He 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 just pushed the planet away whoa get away get away get back in time to get those rolling down so is that is that what he did he just pushed the planet away you're telling me Clark pushed a planet that looks three times the size of earth he just simply pushed it away and keep in mind, Apocalypse was accelerating. It was it was moving towards it. It wasn't just it wasn't just sitting still. So he also has to accommodate for the amount of force being added by the planet being moving forward. So it's like, is this the strongest Superman we've seen on screen? Being able to push an accelerating planet three times the size of Earth? Wait, come back! Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Let me see if I can get it. Got it! The series finale did feel rushed, and it very much was. Had the season did what it was supposed to do, and actually set up the big bad... Instead of just wasting a bunch of time with a whole bunch of filler, that we would have had a proper ending. I was gonna try to do a. S you missed so terribly. I was gonna try to do a sneak strike, but uh, he saw me. He's still gonna see me. I'm right in front of this, so... Ooh, an arrow. 
You're gonna pay for that. I saw that clip too. You said Clark was wearing his suit, and I got, ex I got excited, but it turns out he wasn't wearing his Superman suit. I never said the actor was in the suit, you know? We were promised from the very beginning of the show, Tom Welling, the actor, was never going to wear the suit. They made one exception because it was the finale and he didn't even wear the suit. The entire time you see the suit, it was CGI. Even the final clip of him unbuttoning his shirt and unveiling the emblem, that was CGI'd on him. The actor never wore the suit, not once. He wore a red zip-up jacket with the, with the Superman logo, but that's it. Which was super ugly. That, that, that thing looked terrible. Oh, tower's over there. I was a little disappointed by that, even though I knew I was never going to get it. You know, I would never get a one, even just one full shot of him in the suit. If you look closely, you look at the very far back CGI character, you can even see the red undies on it. Like the suit had the red trunks on. Which are super outdated. But the the Kingdom Come Superman, played by Brandon Routh, that one actually made it work with the red underwear. I'm amazed someone like Cisco didn't bring it up like, you know your suit, you're wearing your underwear outside, right? I'm amazed Cisco didn't point that out. Or someone like Cisco. I'm amazed no one pointed it out at all. No one pointed out, you know, your underwear is outside your suit. Yeah, that's a design choice. Oh, by who? Um, by me. I, so you wanted red underwear on your suit? It's like, yes. <laughs> Oh, will I be able to make it, make it, make it? Yes. My eye is itching. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I also forgot to mention. Menton. Mention, uh, while I was using my amiibos right before this, a blood moon happened. A blood moon always seems to happen whenever I use my amiibos. This is a second time. Nice. Okay, so that's what the Elden region looks like on the map. We have a big anus looking thing over here. Okay, uh, I don't remember quite how to do this. You know what, now that I have this, I have the tower, let me go back to Kakariko first. Actually, I should have gone to Hatino. It's fine. If it's raining in Kakariko, then we'll go to Hatino. Today's the 4th, so I still have 8 days left until I do my teeth. Until I get my wisdom teeth out. I'll make a reminder when I do that. Just so no one's like, yo, where's the content? Ah, uh, you know what I should do before I do this? It's okay, we're already here. So I'm gonna make some food. I already have one of these, that's good. But I'm gonna need more. Once again, like I said, I don't exactly remember how to do this, because I never, I don't remember ever doing this the proper way. 
You know, my boy actually texted me right now as I speak saying like, guess no stream tonight? <laughs> guess what? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, oh, uh, I think I remember what to do now. These. But first, let me do this. I don't think I need five. I think like four, three or four would be enough. Because it gives me 20 hearts. And I already have more than enough. 16. I currently have 13. 16 plus 13. That's, uh, what is that, 29? And you're only allowed 30, so that's good. Good I didn't use five. See, look, this one would give me 20, but that'd just be wasted yellow hearts. And I'm also going to make one of these. May as well use all of them. We're going to get way more later on. What the? Wait, how do I do this? Wait, how exactly do I do this again? How do I make fireproof elixir? Let me, let me look it up real quick. Oh, I thought it was just putting in fire, like the, uh, the lizards. I think I, I think I need to cook just one, not just, not all of them at once. I was about to say, um, I should probably go to Farron, get some more durians, but I think I'm fine. So I'm not going to do that. And I'm certainly not going to waste my lizards. Anyone still watching or am I just talking to myself? <laughs> you know what? In some way this is good. This is therapeutic. I can actually speak. And regardless of if anyone hears it or not, I can finally speak and just talk about stuff. That's a good thing. You know, that's, that's a good thing. No, don't throw it. You're still here? Thanks, amigo. Is that what you said? Yeah. My eyes were not deceiving me thinking you said amiibo. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, anyways, uh... You know, I would go and get therapy, but, you know, I know how my family's gonna be. They're gonna be like, therapy? What, what do you need that for, boy? You sound crazy just for suggesting you need it. I don't I, I don't have my license yet, because, uh, I'm too lazy to go get it. What the hell? How do I do this? Wait, how do I do this? At the mo- at the- mm. Cooking fireproof lizard, yeah. I don't understand. Do I have to cook it with something else? Here, let me try this. No, not a snail. Apple and lizard, mmm. Nope. How, why is it not working for me? I'm looking at... I'm looking at it. And yeah, you just cook a lizard. Unless I need to cook with something else. Let me, let, wait, wait, I'm still looking. I don't understand, it's, it should, it's not working for me. Because it should be just cooking a fireproof lizard. Am I even cooking the correct lizard?
So was when cooked with monster parts, it says right there. Wait, let me just. Hmm, do I want to cook all four? Or let, let me cook all four just for now. I don't know. Put in a uh, bokoblin guts. Let's see what happens. There we go. Fireproof elixir. I certainly don't need one that's 18 minutes long. Let me just cook like maybe two. I know I'm wasting a whole bunch of time here. Anyways, I don't have a car to drive myself to go get therapy. And certainly no one in my family is going to even bother. You know, they're going to be like, you, you want to spend money to have someone listen to you speak? Boy, we can do that for free at home. Just talk to your parents. And then they're going to be like, well, all the stuff you're going to say, we're going to yell at you for it. Because we all know parents, you, you say anything and it, it'll turn into a lecture, an argument, and... <laughs> Come on, come on. That can't just be me. It can't just be me whose parents are like that. Hence, I don't really talk to my parents about a lot of stuff. You know, I don't need... I don't need something like, Hey, I, I got an injury. You know, they, I don't need them to yell at me being more careful. Or saying stuff like, you're a man, suck it up. Oh boy, now's the time to drink this. Is that enough? Yeah, flame guard. So I have 13 minutes. Well, that didn't work. Sneak strike, I mean. Oh yeah, monster parts will burn up here too. So you might want to hurry in picking those up. Now, I know someone here gives you the armor to be fire resistant. No, get the food, get the food before it burns. Someone here gives it to you. I can't remember how to or where to find the person. It might be in the mines? Which is really stupid. You have to have heat proof to get to the person to give you the heat proof armor. Um, I've been streaming for 29 minutes now. I did tell you I was going to do it uh, uh, later tonight, which I told you like an hour ago. It costs money to see a therapist, but it's free to look in the mirror and say it do be like that sometimes. Anyways, yeah, wooden items will burn here. So don't have those equipped. I think this, I think this is the case. If I have a raw meat out here. Yeah, it'll start cooking. I'm wasting my time. Holy jeez, I only got two minutes left. Did I drink the wrong one, actually? I did. I did. I drank the wrong one. It's okay. What? We're never going to use the elixirs anyways. We we're we're going to get the fireproof armor... And we're never going to drink the elixirs that only give us two minute protection. You know, I could probably take this outfit off. I need some, I need some better defense. No, not this.
Go to a free therapist? Who the hell gonna listen to me for free? Who Who's gonna be professional and listen to a random person's needs for free? I do not have any rusty weapons on me, but I think I've showed it off before what to do. So look at this guy. Whoops. That's what you do. Throw a bomb into their mouth. Pause. I don't think I can take on an Igneo Talus right now. Unless I use ice weapons. Well, I can. I do have ice arrows. Do I want to take on an Igneo Talus? Sure, why not? Okay, let me see. What bow do I want to use? This one's damaged. And then ice arrow. Okay, let's do this. You guys ready for a mini boss? The mini bosses in this game suck. Ooh. I see a glimmer on the side of my eye. Is that... At the corner of my eye. There we go. You know, I should probably wait 12 seconds. Why do you want to see a, a therapist anyways? Well, you know, everyone has issues. Everyone has a... Uh, Everyone has things they want to talk about, but no one to talk to. Just to talk about stuff, just to express their problems, seek professional help, all that stuff. Alright, let's do this. Hello, wake up. Alright, Igneo Talus, use ice arrows to cool it down. And then hit. Put this on, so you can get some attack bonus. Want to jump off before they fling you off. Man, I don't want to use too many ice arrows here. Wait, get off, get off, get off. My Master Sword's low on energy. You do the same for Frost Talus too. You use a Fire Arrow instead. Okay, now what else do I want to use? Uh... Well... Sure, why not? No, get back on. Oh, I flung me off. There's a ruby behind him. Can you beat it without ice arrows? Yeah. You just have to wait. I think. Before anyone tells me to heal, I have Mifa's Grace, so it's fine. Just like that. Right? No, I think you need the the flame armor if you want to beat this thing. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Got it. I was standing on its active fire arm, so that's what that's what damaged me. Ooh, a diamond. I still haven't used my Revali scale. You know what, let's just do it over this so we can just use it and have it recharge. I think I did it too far away. Well, that was pretty pointless. I did it too far away. I still gotta climb. Can you imagine how hot this wall must be? Ne never mind the actual hot parts that are glowing. A diamond sword. Can you imagine how hot this place would be? I already feel hot in the room I'm sitting on. Sitting on, sitting in. Oh! Damn it, there was a fire lizard there. Fireproof lizard. Alright, this is a good time to put this on. Because this place is full of lizards. Look, there's another one right there. 
And underneath these rocks, there's more than more than often one underneath. See? They're everywhere. Southern Mine. Another one. Another one. Everyone's asleep. That's where they all are. Grayson ends in sun. And that might have to be daytime to talk to one of these guys. Then one of these guys gives you the armor. Oh no, it's this guy. Maybe? Bring me ten. I have six, so I need four more. I think this guy gives you fireproof armor for having ten lizards. Which, wow, I need to get ten of these guys. And I have to make it here without the armor to get the armor. Well, at least that was easy. Now I got my ten. This guy wanted to get the lizards, but couldn't. Man, you suck. They're everywhere. You see how many I'm picking up? Here. Here's your ten lizards. Flame breaker armor. There we go. So you have to get here yourself without the flame breaker armor. You have to get ten lizards on your own. Before you can actually get the armor that's needed for this area. I would put this on right now, but there's lizards everywhere, and I kind of want to use my nine minutes left. No! Rock salt! Hey, rock salt would be good for seizing meals, and you know that. Oh, look, there's three of them here. One, two, three. You know, grab a hammer, crush up, crush up a giant chunk of rock salt, put it into a little grinder thing. You got some seasoning salt right there. Looks like some pink Himalayan salt. Ah, oh. uh, I actually hit the button, too. Why is that rock salty? I said I'm a traveler. <laughs> Did I stutter? I said I'm a traveler. Notice that Goron's ruby is on his helmet. Where's Goron City? The trip can be dangerous, so keep your eyes open on the way there. Oh yeah, it is. Anything else to explore around here? Oh man, the shrines in this place are annoying too, because of all the lava. You can't explore down there. I don't think there's anything there right now, but let's just go take a look. Why is that rock salty? You know, you know giant chunks of salt exist, right? You know, salt isn't the, the tiny little powders that you find. You know, salt actually can come in giant, in giant chunks. Yep, my boy mentioned it in chat. My, so my Age of Calamity copy that I ordered long ago, I checked the website and it says shipped, but I have not gotten an email saying your parcel has been shipped. Oh boy, fire keys. 
I'm gonna bring them out here to kills because I kind of want their wings. I don't want them to fall into the lava. So yeah, I even checked. The, the date I ordered that freaking game was... Alright, I know I'm risking this, but yeah, they're just, see, they're just gonna fall into the lava. Can I even see them down there? No, I can't. So I ordered the game on September 16th, 2020. And today is January 4th. Yeah, there's nothing here. Just a dead end. Oh man, all of those flew into the lava. I don't want to use my weapons against it. Man, you annoying little bastard. Die. Speaking of Age of Calamity. So I, I was meant to play this game yesterday. You can even hear me say it in the video. But that video took me an hour to record. I, I, I was going in thinking, I'll be here for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I, it shouldn't take that long. Nope, took me over an hour to finish that one level. It was, it was way more difficult than I thought, so I just kept on dying. And you know me, I'm unable to edit down, I'm unable to cut out parts. So, uh, yeah, the whole thing is just posted. The entire one hour <laughs> clip. The entire one hour video, just no cuts, all one take, it's the whole thing is posted. Because I don't have a PC to edit on, and if I try to edit on my laptop, it will crash my computer. It has before. Can you imagine how hot this wind must be? It's like, it's like Armin. Taking on the Colossal Titan. Anyone saw? Anyone remember that? How hot that hot that place must be. Maybe it's in your mailbox. It's not. I checked. It wouldn't be in a mailbox. It would be actually delivered. So it would be in my. It would be. Uh, it would be delivered to my doorstep. How much longer until my Master Sword's back? Just about two minutes. Death Mountain Marker? I almost said Maker. This way to Goron City. You know how... You know how... Man, these animals here have adapted and evolved. Wait, have evolved to adapt to, to their environment for survival. They're able to survive in this blistering heat. I know a little bit about science, you know, natural selection, animals, all that. Anyone remember Ocarina of Time? Climbing up Death Mountain? Well, yeah, after 10,000 years, the mountain's still doing this.
well, I don't... Well, yeah, I don't need my Sheikah armor anymore. Listen to that Goron music. Now, it's always great to break these pots, because for some reason, Goron City is just amazing for rupees. More importantly, I hope you made it past all those magma bombs without injury. Oh yeah, barely an inconvenience. Okay, we're here at Goron City. Should be a lizard up here. Yep, there's a lizard right there. Like I said, break the pots because there's more than likely a rupee inside. Okay, let's switch back to that. Oh, you're here! How are you alive in this heat? I'm not gonna talk to you, Smeargle. No! Ah. Aw, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that either. God damn it, Joy-Con Drift. You see, I'm not touching my controller. That's that's the I still I keep forgetting to get that cleaned. Or to fix that. Yep. Oh, the the blue rupee fell. Damn it. Hold on, buddy, I'll get to you in a sec. Uh, yeah, the store up here also has pots. You're gonna, you're gonna go? Alright, thanks for joining. Alright, buddy boy, what you got to say? That blasted Rudania! They say that 100 years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, and this is now. Okay, bye. Thanks for joining. Jeez, I heard that. I felt that. You got some back pain? Where's Shaq at? That, that shack back pain. Bluto. That blasted Yonobo. When will he return? Take it easy, man. Um No, nah, this is uh this is not where I want to go. Looking for the shop. Oh, duh. See look, purple rupee. Always break the pots here, because uh, there's more than likely always a rupee. I don't know if it's Goron custom to keep rupees in their pots. Alright. Oh, I was about to be, do you have the heat on in your store? No, that's because my, uh, my elixir wore off. Yo! Oh, he sounded so excited, and I want to said, 
Goodbye, he said. Aww. Now, let me see how much I need to buy the armor first. Armor shop is over there. Stay at the inn. You don't you don't need no blankets here. You stay nice and warm when you go to sleep. You probably wake up in a pool of sweat, but your sweat probably boiled off. Probably steamed off too. Okay, we can get the rest of the flame breaker armor. But I know this is expensive, yeah. Two thousand just for the headpiece. I could get this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Two thousand for the headpiece. That guy that made me, uh, that made me buy, not buy, made me collect, uh, ten lizards for him, just to get me this, I should have knocked his ass out and took the, took his helmet, had I known the value. Two thousand for the headpiece. I should have karate chopped him across the neck, made him unconscious, just swipe his helmet off. A cricket? <laughs> yep, always try to pick up. You never know if there's something underneath the rocks. Whoa, a Hylian? That's unexpected. What are you doing here, little guy? Wait, Joy-Con Drift, don't you make me walk off the ledge now. Yeah. Okay, let's go find this Yenobo guy, but first, a shrine. See, look, red rupee. That's it. I, I assume... I don't know if this is a test of strength. It might be, I can't remember. It might be an actual mission. It might be an actual mission. I don't know if you can hear me drinking water just now. No, it actually is. Swinging flames. Is this one of those really long ones? Right, 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 right. So I need that stone barrel up there. Is this stone? Yeah, it is. You know, I wonder what will happen. What if I do this and just knock it away? Can I do that? Yeah, now I'm trapped in here. Stone Smasher. Huh. All my weapons are good. Actually, I take that back. Now, all my weapons are good. No. Wait, wrong one. I'm trying to go for the arrows. That torch in there is burning, too. There's three of them in here. Matter of fact, let me just do this. Because I don't want to have to worry about it later on. Guardian Scout 1. Oh, I'm gonna have to do the compendium. Looking forward to that even less than I am the Korox. Any more chests in here? Yes, there is. 
Guardian sword. Do I want that? Nah, this is a regular guardian sword. I don't need that. How do I do this? Surely they don't expect. They they don't expect. Do they really expect? I don't see anything to shoot. Hmm. Surely they don't expect <laughs> something like this, right? Or maybe they do. Get. Now, question is, how do I get up there? Ah, I think I did this wrong. I think I'm supposed to jump off from top, from on top. And then actually, you know, use my body weight to turn that. Hey, hey, come back here. Damn you, physics. Damn you, Joy-Con Drift. Don't, it's not a soccer ball. I don't suppose I could just move this closer. Never mind, I can't. So, what was the point of that? Anything else around here? No? Yes! Ice arrows! Ah, I see what I have to do here. Take this. No. Wait. Set it down first. Let me make sure. Yeah. No. Oh, I see, I see. So up here. Is that in the right position? Yes, it is. Alright, gotta make a run for it. Did it work? Woof! I don't know how long I'm gonna go for tonight. Maybe, do, do I wanna meet Yanobo and then, yeah, cause I'm gonna, if I do that, then I'll get to do Rudania next. Now, is that all the chests? Yes, it is. Wow. Man, forget that. Matter of fact, even 
forget that as well. I'll just do this. No. Yes. Not bad of a challenge, monk. Oh, speaking of which, right before, like earlier today, I finally watched the Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. I haven't bought the DLC myself, so I just watched all the cutscenes online. Not bad. Not a bad expansion. You know, you have Shang Tsung as the main villain. You also have Sindel back. Uh, you know, she double-crossed everyone and sided with Shao Kahn. That's a surprise. That shocked me as well. Sindel and Shao Kahn should have knew better. You know, thinking Shang Tsung would. Wouldn't. You know, thinking Shang Tsung wouldn't betray them. They should have knew better. It's Shang Tsung. I'm excited to see what the the story is going to be like moving on. Okay, before I talk to you, anything up here? Why, yes there is. There's a whole path out here. You can use square bombs with them too. Yeah, this path leads somewhere else entirely. So, I should not be going here just yet. But I just wanted to check. Look, you see you see how there's a statue of Daruk there? Which, if you look at the map, it's actually pretty well detailed. Look, you have his face over here. You have his hand over here. You have his other hand in a fist over here. What if your game was shipped, but someone stole it? Well, that's... <laughs> that's not my problem. That's the company's problem. Because I'm still going to ask for my money back. I never received my product, and you did indeed take my money. So that is that is their problem. You know, I will complain. So someone take my game. That's their problem. Because I, I'm gonna make it their problem. Do you, you do you know Yanobo? Boss wants to know. Painkillers. Ah. You know, it's also interesting. If you look at the map, you can see some pretty interesting stuff too. Look, there's a whole crab here made out of rocks. Like, that's just a coincidence, you know? Oh. That nature made it that way. Ah. Look, there are monsters everywhere here too. Blue rupee. No. Don't you dare touch that lever. What, this lever? Can I actually not use bombs? No, I can't. Oh boy, what weapon? Okay, I have this. So I do have to hit this thing, actually strike it, huh? Then you place a bomb here. And you see the enemy over there? Nice. Beautiful. I think that's it. So now we can walk there. We can go there. Yeah.
Whatever game came, but your parents took it, they know better. They, 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 they wouldn't care. Like, my parents, they see something in the mail that's not for them, they won't even bother. They don't care. They'll just be like, kids, you have a package. We'll be like, okay. They wouldn't open a package that's not theirs. You know what? Just because I want the monster parts, I'm gonna go fight them head on. I could use the cannon, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this the stupid way. See, look, I could potentially get fire arrows from killing these guys too. I use a cannon, that goes away. Fire Lizalfos, use ice weapon. One hit kill. Yep, fire arrows. Worth it. Oh no, my, my stuff is burning. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get. Ah, uh, just a moment too late. So, remember how a, a while ago I mentioned I'm gonna rewatch Arrow in 2021? I almost said 2020. Well, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna rewatch anything in 2021 because I'm booked to the teeth this year with stuff to do and watch. Get it? Booked to the teeth because I uh, I have a I have teeth to get done. Uh, so right here, you see that thing over there? You have to time it just right, like that. What? Wait, watch Grave of the Fireflies? I don't know what that is. What is that, an anime? The name alone reminds me of Lord of the Flies. So, remember how I said I had 19 shows to watch this year? Nah, 22 shows. Because, you know, a whole bunch of new ones are just keep coming out that I'm going to watch. So, yeah, that's why I'm not re-watching anything this year, because I already have too much to watch. Speaking of watch, like watching things, I recently re-watched the, the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern film that everyone calls as garbage. Ideally, it's not terrible. The story's not too bad. See how it destroyed that entire camp? I wonder. Can I get, get those two over there too, as well? Nah, let's not. So I can actually get the parts. If you're brave, you could take this on this camp yourself. But I didn't want to. Anime movie? What's it about? So, you know, the plot's not half bad. Green Lantern, you know, how Jordan fighting Parallax, that actually killed me. It was basically just another hero origin film. How Hal Jordan became Green Lantern. You know, it sucks that we never got a sequel, so we never got to see Sinestro or uh, Carol Ferris turn into Star Sapphire.
I mean, the ending, to me, just made no sense. It was cool, but it made no sense. Why exactly did Sinestro put on the yellow lantern ring? You know, the one fueled by fear? He at th Throughout the whole film, he seemed like he really was all about the Green Lantern cause. He, like, he really wanted to destroy Parallax. And then, at the end of the film, he, he just took the ring for, for no reason, and he put it on. It's like, why? You, you had no motivation this whole film to, to take the ring and start the Yellow Lantern Corps. I know I could blow this place up, but once again, I want the parts. Can I, can I get on this, please? There we go. Plus there might be a chest up here. Which if I destroy this place, I won't be able to get. No, there's not a chest up here. Alright, let's destroy it. An older brother and younger sister surviving in a war. Very emotional movie. Mm, I'll, I'll look it up. See if I'm interested afterwards. But you already know me. I Just TV shows alone. I have 22 to watch this year. And that don't include animes or films. I still have uh, Let, let Us... Let, wait. Let's be, let Us Be Heroes? I still have that film to watch too. The chest is... Is that a chest down there? It looks opened. An hour and a half? Hmm, maybe. Huh, how do I break that one? Do I really use this cannon? Yeah, I use this one. Oh, that's an updraft. Hmm, do I want to take that updraft? It's, it's just there because... Okay, so what was I even saying? How I have so many shows to watch? Oh yeah, I was talking about Green Lantern. Ideally, the film's not horrible. The plot's okay, but you know the amount of CGI kind of ruins it. The CGI outfit does not look that great. It's gr it looks cool with the effects. Every time, every time Hal uses the actual. Uh, Green Lantern ring the suit itself actually has like energy surging through it so that's good I mean that looks good but it's the, C the CGI mask looks awful it's like did you really need to CGI a mask onto his face how much money did you save just not making a simple mask I mean geez the the Arrow TV show, Oliver has a mask. And you know, that's way lower budget. I bet you there's a Korok on top of there. Alright, Yanobo, you're free now. Oh, I am so not looking forward to doing the shrines and the Koroks in this area. This big ass area just filled the heat. Oh, I'm so not looking forward to doing all that. Before I talk to Yonobo, let me see if there's a Korok. I bet you there's a Korok up there. Because turns out Koroks, you know, being creatures of the forest, are fireproof. 
They could they could get as close as lava as they can, and they would not burn up like Link would. I don't know why sometimes when a Korok appears on screen, they don't face directly the screen. They face at an angle. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Boy, that Korok's not burning. He's just going to stand there for the rest of his life. Are you prepared for amazing voice acting? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What am I going to do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Now I've gotten a good look. Whoa, it's a Hylian. So let me think. I have uh, 22 shows to watch this year. I have a bunch of YouTubers to watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna start watching a couple YouTubers again because I I stopped watching them for a little bit not because I didn't like them or their content anymore but just because I got too lazy and I was you know I was I was gonna catch up and then time passed and I was like you know what there's just too many too many videos to catch up now hello can I open this one? How'd that hurt me? I can't see what's going on. Money. Very nice. This was 42. What do these two do? 12 and 15. Well, duh. What do you think I'm going to do? Give me mine back. Do you still watch Dashy? Yep. Dashy's like the only channel that I've actually stuck with watching daily for, you know, like an actual YouTuber. Dashy's like the the only YouTuber I watch daily ever since I discovered him. I discovered him in 7th grade. That was what? 4, 5, 6, 7. That was, I think that was 7 years ago. So I've watched Dashy daily for seven years. I mean, yeah, there's, a, there's an occasional video that if it's a game that I have absolutely no interest in, I might not watch it. But that's rare, you know. I don't, I don't watch basketball. I don't, I don't really care about basketball that much. I'm not into the sport. But I, I even watch the NBA uh, 2K videos. NBA 2K 16 -a. Tina. You know what? I may as well just warp back because there's really nothing else here. So yeah, I still have 19... F uh, not I keep saying 19. I have 22 shows to watch this year. I have... Uh, a bunch of YouTubers I'm going to start watching again. Start watching daily again. I have a whole bunch of films coming out this year. And anime. Still on Attack on Titan Season 4. There was no episode this week. Because I feel like it's because of New Year's. You know, I just want to mention. like, um, I'm getting my teeth done in 8 days. And I can actually feel, now that I know the truth about my mouth and how there are teeth way wrong in my mouth, like pointed super wrong, like 90 degrees how they're supposed to be, I can actually feel it now. Had I not been told this, I feel like my brain wouldn't be, wouldn't have it in the back of my mind. 
So it's like, you can actually, I can feel the wisdom teeth pushing the rest of my teeth. Like my, my big teeth on the very b uh, back of my mouth. I can feel those being uncomfortable. Now you give me this. Thanks. I have the outfit. You, you know, you could have given me the 2,000 rupee costing headpiece. But no, you gave me this. Oh, right. There's a cutscene coming up. How long is your hair now? Um, just, just about covering my ear. Last time it was last time I mentioned it, it was barely covering my ear. Now it's just about covering my ears. Daruk, the Goron champion. Let me shut up for this. Learn my lesson not to mute myself and the game. other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity cannon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> All right, so what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Daruk is like my favorite champion because he's such a cool dude. Anyways, yeah, if you, in case anyone didn't know, Gorons eat rocks. I don't know how um how how nutritious rocks are. Like what's the what's the what's the calorie intake on it? How much how much fat is in a rock? Like how many grams of sugar are in a rock? Elden Bridge. That should be a recognizable name. I think. So I need to make it over here. I think I'm going to make it there and stop there. So I can do the Divine Beast next time. Um... Yeah, so I go, I just follow this, I think. I already broke all these pots, so there's no point.
Anyways, let me get a good look. So I just followed the... Nah, it's the bridge I was at before. So I need to go up and then follow there. Goron Hot Springs. So I need to make it back over there. Matter of fact, let me just... Let me just warp to the shrine. So we're almost done for tonight. You know, uh, report, re reporting, recording Age of Calamity, I knew eventually it would come to bite me in the ass, because, uh, what I should be doing is I should be doing it every other day, but not on the day that I play this game. Because what I do is I record Age of Calamity right before playing this game, and I play this game every other day. So I should be, do I should be playing them daily in a pattern, but I'm not doing that. Because uh, I'm too lazy and I honestly forget to do it. I knew that would eventually bite me in the ass because uh, cause last night I was supposed to play the game and then play this. But the recording took like, took over an hour. So I'm like, you know what? It's getting way too late. I can't, I can't stream now. I can't play Breath of the Wild now. So tomorrow, as of me playing this game, I should play Age of Calamity so the day after that I can play this game stress free like not having to worry about recording a video can I take this heavy really heavy looking weapon off my back I'm just gonna shove the whole thing in my pocket there because it's it's out of sight out of mind so it's it doesn't weigh a thing because it's not visible I would love some, any video game out there to explain this, you know, how, how one individual can keep ginormous weapons simply in their pockets. Like Link right now, let's, let's take a look. He has, he has a giant axe in his pocket. He has a, well, to be honest, this thing doesn't, like, only when you have it equipped does it get bigger? Anyways, he has this giant thing. He has a tr he has a trident. He has like three double-handed blades. A whole bunch of bows and arrows. He has 453 arrows in his pocket. A bunch of shields. A bunch of clothes. He has 290 apples simply in his pockets. He has 13 stakes in his pocket. Like I would like any kind of video game out there to explain this. Even if it even if it won't explain it for every video game, you know there could be a fantasy game out there. Oh, wait, your pockets are a pocket. Uh, well, pff, your pockets are a pocket. Your pockets are a pocket dimension, so you can store as much as you want in there. Maybe that doesn't apply to every video game. It's like GTA. You know how the the characters can have all those weapons in their pockets. You know what are weapons I actually really wanted to see in GTA 5? I mean, they added a freaking fireworks launcher, so why not? What I wanted to see was a bow and arrow or a crossbow, because I, I thought that would be cool. Like, you go to the ammunition. Hi, would you like to purchase any guns? No, I want that bow and arrow right there. Do I want to show this off? Why not? I could walk there or I could just take this. Take this minecart, which for some reason is derailed. Put it onto the rails. Is it on? I think that's on. And this little gap right here, put, put bombs in there. Now I said, well that's underneath now. put bombs in here and it won't hurt you and you do that to accelerate what I did not mean to do that how did that one die 
Hurry up, hurry up, grab, grab, grab. Oh, that only killed one. Be sure not to hit the key, the fire keys with this. No, this. Good. I was not about to waste a hit on this stupid thing. Oh yeah, let me think. 22 shows, bunch of films, whole lot of anime, bunch of YouTubers. I also have a, a lot of uh, past streams archived on YouTube I want to watch. Oh boy, those I have like three to five hour ones too. I've only seen one so far. But hey, I'm, that's the beauty for now. Uh, that's the beauty of... Um, of uh, uh, um, having to be in bed and recovering. You're gonna go? That's okay. I'm about to end this anyways. Yeah! Let me see if I can sneak strike this guy. I'm about to end end this uh, end this one anyways. I'm just gonna do this last part, then I'm gonna be done. What you crying about anyways, you know? Both these guys are just just dancing in front of you. There's no boombox anywhere. They're just dancing on sp on the spot. No music. Fine, I'll go around. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I just, I'm just curious. Can I sneak strike these guys? Nope. Well, it still gave me the option, but it didn't work. Oh, that's right. I should probably upgrade this armor before going into the Divine Beast. I gotta remember that for next time. Mother... You know what? You, you, you about to drop that weapon. Nah, don't, don't you pick it up. Goro. I'm not a catchy. Do you see four arms? Drill shaft. That's good for um, taking out uh, rock deposits. I feel like there's something I'm, I'm for, really forgetting to mention. I'm sure I'll remember it after I'm done this and I have to mention it next time. Your hair reminds me of a pastry. That's quite a bridge. Looks like a samurai. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, he's gonna jump on that. He's gonna he's gonna be the ammo. They designed the entire bottom of that of that bridge for that sole purpose. Now we're never gonna see the bottom of that bridge again. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. Cause next time we're gonna we're gonna get to Naboris and then we're gonna board it too. I'm I don't think I'm gonna actually. I think I'm gonna use my amiibos in between and then I'ma meet you back here at whatever time. Really? You you're saying hi now? I'm about to end. I was just about to end this, man. Anyways, well, that's it for tonight. See you next time when we do Divine Beast Varudania.